Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to create this iOS app from scratch using Figma. We're going to go step by step and create everything from the early foundations. And by the way, just before we get started, I want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX design. So feel free to check it out and link in the description. Now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Right, so we're back in Figma and the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to rename this document over here to iOS and we're going to create a frame and select the phone and we're going to go over the iPhone 13 Pro Max and uh, at this point we're going to just start adding the text. So via the text tool we're going to write welcome and uh, we're going to use Lato which is a free Google web font and uh, essentially we're going to make it quite bigger and uh, actually instead of Lato let's go with Montserrat which is uh, a more friendlier uh, typeface and uh, just gives us that uh, <laughs> good uh, uh, vibes if you wish. So let's uh, go and let's select uh, all of this and uh, now we're going to add uh, a layout grid so you can see over here you can change it to columns and you can change it to two columns and uh, let's uh, add a little bit of a margin over here we're also going to change the color of this uh, layout grid now let's uh, go ahead and let's make it light gray so that we can still see the design below and uh, we're going to start adding uh, the input fields now actually as i'm looking at it uh, probably going to add just a little bit more of a margin. I want it to, give, to really give this uh, design a, a lot of breathing room. So that's that. And now let's create uh, the very first rectangle, which uh, is going to help us uh, um, structure the input field. So we're going to make it rounded <coughs> similarly to this. Let's make it Let's make it lighter and we're probably going to give it just a, a small tint of blue. And uh, now we're going to duplicate the text by using shift plus alt and I'm going to bring it up. Now let's make it uh, way smaller. Let's bring this over here and I'm going to write uh, Nemo. And uh, I'm going to make it smaller, or actually regular. And now let's, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a duplicate of uh, this input field. I'm going to write here password. And uh, we're actually going to add a icon. So in order to add uh, an eye icon, we're going to leverage uh, Nucleo Icons, which is uh, a really cool software to add icons. And uh, I'm going to write here I. And uh, as you can see, we have uh, quite a bit of choice. And I just want like a regular one, uh, something like uh, something around these lines, that could work. Let's increase the size of this icon. I'm going to unframe it and bring it right uh, here. All right. So now that we have this icon, I'm going to make it uh, very light. It doesn't take a lot of uh, visual emphasis. I'm going to make also this password uh, lighter. So. It just looks a little bit more in line with a password of an input field that wasn't uh, wasn't entered yet. All right, so we have this, and now we're going to duplicate uh, this text again. We're going to write here forgot password, and we're going to essentially change this to the main color, which is going to be a blue color. Now at this point, let's copy and paste this over here. 
we're going to write uh, sign in. I'm going to bring it to the very center, change the color. And as you can see, I'm using the eyedrop tool, which uh, is shortcut command C. And you can easily just like whatever color that you prefer in the canvas. All right, so have here, uh, we need to add a text. Don't have an account. Sign up. And we're going to make the sign up the same color as the call to action buttons. All right. So here we have uh, the main options to essentially go on and move forward with the app experience. Now on top of that, uh, uh, since uh, it's 2021, I also want social signups. So why not using those um, or sign in with? <clears throat> I'm going to make this centered. And by the way, this design was heavily inspired by um, a UI kit that you can find on uh, uh, UI8. I, I'm going to send it over and uh, it was uh, mentioned also on uh, my um, UX Mentor Instagram page. So feel free to check it out. Uh, really, really cool UI kit. Heavily, um, I would heavily recommend you to check it out uh, in the original. So, right. And this is... Uh, the original one, which is a uh, holocron. So definitely check it out. Uh, uh, big props to the designer, which really did an amazing, uh, amazing job. So let's write here Facebook. And I'm going to add uh, the Facebook uh, icon. Uh, let's make small, make it smaller over here. <clears throat> and now let's duplicate this. And I'm going to add uh, Google. So we need uh, the Google logo. And let's add it over here. So as you can see with the claw icons, all these options, all these uh, um, actions are really easy to partake. And let's add uh, a stroke over here. With this color, let's make uh, the actual logo white. And uh, we are pretty much set when it comes to the main page. One thing that I'm actually missing is the top section of the iOS navbar. And in order to find that, I'm simply going to go here under the Figma community. I'm going to write in iOS and try to find a iOS kit, which is already pre-built. And I'm literally going to grab one of those top um, elements from a UI kit. So just a very easy way <coughs> to actually go ahead and uh, uh, solve that issue, if you wish. You can simply grab one of these and uh, just go over here on the frame and uh, paste it, adapt it to the width of this uh, iPhone. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much good to go. All right, so let's bring this a uh, little bit down. Let's try to um, <clears throat> make all of this uh, um, have a little bit of more, more breathing room, if you wish. And uh, here we go. I'm also going to round up the corners just a little bit. Really like to, to work uh, in, uh, in like that. And uh, I'm also going to make the background not fully uh, blue, but just give it a little bit of uh, a blue tint. Maybe have uh, 
uh, some drop shadow behind. Just that it looks a little bit, you know, cooler. Just make it here a drop shadow with some light, light tint of blue. And um, yeah, this is just uh, really nice to, uh, to look at and, you know, to work on. All right, so now that we have uh, the main welcome page, what we're gonna do is we're going to create uh, a duplicate of this. And uh, before before I actually do that, uh, let me turn this uh, into a component so that it's going to be reusable. So as you can see, this is the, the, the current component. Just going to rub it and bring it over here, the instance. And I'm going to do the same for this one over here. So I'm just going to grab, bring here the main component and duplicate this instance right here. So, all right. And uh, the way, the reason why I have the components here not in a separate page is because at the start of a project, uh, I really like to, to be nimble and to have all the components uh, in uh, the same page. Then as the project grows, uh, as it, it expands and you set up the design system correctly, you're going to have different pages, but uh, for the time being, this works totally fine. So let's right here, create new account. And uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to delete this, I'm going to delete this, also this at the very bottom. And I'm going to bring this below. And now uh, let's just check the distance between this one and this one. 16.36. Hit it when it's uh, not the uh, full numbers. So we're pretty much going to stick to 16. And I'm going to duplicate it just a few times. All right. <coughs> Now at this point, <coughs> what we need is also the password. I realized that. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're going to delete these two. I'm going to, again, create this to a component, bring it here. So we have the, all the masters component here. And I'm going to duplicate uh, this guy right here two times. We're going to have repeat password and we're going to just delete this icon in this case and let's go ahead and uh, let's add all the other data so we have email address here we're going to have the phone number and actually let's make it small caps and let's use the same color as these uh, other ones uh, right here. And here the call to action is going to be different. It's going to be create account. And as you can see, we have an issue because this is not central aligned, but we can easily just change that and um, it's going to be fixed. So what uh, if uh, um, uh, we basically have to change here, have an account. So they'll sign up, it's going to be sign in. We're going to center all of this. All right, perfect. So we have our very first two screens. I'm also going to add uh, another one, which is going to be a 404 screen, which is always useful. Hopefully it's not one of those pages that you're going to um, to find, but yeah, you just need uh, one of those as well. So let's go right here, go back. Let's uh, add uh, some text. This page was not found. I'm going to write here, try again to find 
in this new section of the app. Let's center it up. bring it to the center, let's bring it over here. And uh, what we're gonna do <clears throat> at this point is we're going to make this uh, bigger. And also this one here. We're going to grab uh, an icon from uh, this really cool kit called Lamb. Uh, which is from LS Graphics. So feel free to check it out. It's a really, a really nice uh, um, set of icons that you can leverage for your project. And uh, we need to find an icon which could be suitable for this specific uh, instance. So maybe an icon like that uh, could be interesting to see. Um, so you kind of want to make it uh, joyful if you wish and uh, like lightweight uh, in, uh, <coughs> in essence so yeah let's uh, just center it like this let's make it I'm actually going to bring this one here bring this uh, here to the center All right, and <laughs> this is looking interesting. And uh, yeah, let's uh, bring this section here. The thing we're, we're set for the time being, and uh, we're continuing in just a second. All right, so let's continue and let's uh, create uh, a very new page, which uh, is going to be sort of a blog post page. And uh, we're actually going to duplicate this by using uh, Shift plus Option key. Let's bring this uh, screen right here and uh, we're going to go ahead and duplicate this text. I'm going to bring it on the top. We're going to write uh, article. Let's center it all and I'm going to bring it here. And uh, at this point, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this one time and I'm going to delete these elements since we don't really need them anymore. And I'm going to write uh, here, continue listening. And uh, I'm going to bring back nuclear icons. And we're going to write uh, menu in order to find a menu icon, which we're going to add on the left. So here we go, Add the menu icon, let's bring it here, let's increase in size and just a little bit more and here we go. All right, well, let's add the search icon and we're going to use this one. Let's increase it in size as well. I'm going to put it over here. All right. Now I just want to make this stroke just a little bit bigger so that it matches the search icon. And I think uh, this uh, is uh, working well. Maybe let's just make these uh, two icons just a little bit bigger still. I'm going to move this one here. All right. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to add a new element, which is going to be a rectangle element. And I'm going to bring it over here. And uh, let's start stylizing. So let's duplicate the text, let's bring it over here. I'm going to write a mini extract. And 
let's increase the height, uh, the line height just a little bit. Let's bring this guy here. Let's increase the height just a bit. And at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, um, or actually, let's go under plugins, under unsplash, and let's find uh, a minimal image. So just like this one here. And uh, this one didn't, didn't really catch. There we go. So we have our first one. Let's make this one white. Now let's find uh, a second image, which could work well. And let's try something a little bit, something else. So it's just a matter of trial and error. And uh, yeah, here we go. Let's write tech, see if we can find anything in particular that we can leverage, be more tech related. <coughs> I mean, this one's pretty interesting, but the contrast is not on point. I'm not too sure about these. Maybe let's just keep the, the original one and we'll go with that. Right, have our heading text. And uh, now what we're gonna do is we're going to add uh, three dots below in order to, in the, to, to basically tell the users that this is the navigation. I'm going to make the first one uh, completely blue. And uh, we're also going to duplicate uh, this another menu so we're going to write here all then we're going to have uh, a few different entries this one's going to be tech it's going to be fashion and then sports and politics let's bring it here i'm going to use the distribute horizontal spacing I'm going to make uh, all of these uh, in a, a great text, just like this one. All right, let's click here. And uh, I'm also going to add a line below all in order to indicate that this uh, is uh, a selected element. We're also going to duplicate this one more time. Bring it over here, 75 by 75. That should do. And at this point, we're going to add some more text elements right here. Let's make it black. I'm going to write tech. And here below the element. <clears throat> so we're actually going to use content reel in order to create some sample content in uh, pretty much no time. So as you can see here, content reel is uh, <clears throat> not loading. And let's see if we can find uh, anything which can be useful. Uh, not really. Yes, type in blog. Let's see if anything uh, seems like it's not really it's taking its time. Oh well, 
we'll figure out something. This is a marketing title. You can't always have it your way in life. <laughs> That's uh, something that happens. All right, so let's write the date. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller and in this gray color. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to just applicate this uh, a few times right fashion sports politics we're going to find uh, <clears throat> some uh, images on unsplash it's going to be tech related so something like this I'm going to have fashion. Let's click on search and uh, let's try one of these icons or <laughs> images. It's right here, sports. And here we go. And, uh, or actually, yeah, let's use this one. Let's write politics. And let's add this image right here. All right, so I think uh, <clears throat> we're in a good spot right now. And uh, let's write here fashion. It's longer. Let's write here politics. And there we go. All right ready to move on to the very next screen. Now we can also start changing these names. So new account, this one's going to be a 404 error. Here we have uh, articles and here it's going to be a chat. So let's write chat or actually comments. Let's write in arrow. And let's use uh, one of these arrows that we find here. So I'm gonna go with this one. Let's bring it over here. Let's make it just a little bit smaller. And uh, here we go. All right, so I'm just going to delete uh, uh, most of these elements since we don't really need them. And what we're gonna do is we're going to start adding uh, uh, names. We're going to have a comment below with a date. And let's also add a avatar right here. And also a Dividing line. All right. So overall, this is looking good. And now, what we're gonna do is uh, we're essentially going to, well, first of all, bring this just a little bit more on the right so we can increase the size of the avatar. And uh, we're going to duplicate this uh, a few times. Um, and just before we do that, I'm also going to add uh, on uh, this section below a place for 
um, users to comment. So here we go. I'm going to write at the bottom, write your comment. I'm going to add a emoji. And here we go. All right, let's duplicate this, let's bring it over here. Let's remove the shadow. I'm going to use the same blue as this one here. Let's write send. We're going to find a send icon, which is going to be this one. Right. Probably let's make it like this. And this so far is looking pretty good. All right, at this point, what we're gonna do is we're going to just duplicate these uh, a few times. Let's find uh, using command D. And actually what I noticed is that it's not uh, really in a good place. So I'm just going to duplicate it one more time um, by using the group function and command D. And uh, this time, if I want to tweak uh, or change these values, I can do it like that because it's all uh, grouped. So that's something that makes it easier for us to, you know, like change uh, the height and all those uh, all those sizes right probably something like that could work all right so far <clears throat> so good now we're going to change the names using content real again and we're also going to add the avatars with uh, the same plugin so let's write in full name. Let's also select all of these ovals that we created. I'm going to go under image. I'm going to go under avatar. This one is male. We're going to mix it up. Some female avatars as well. And we need to change the names. Uh, let's write. I'm not and um, yeah, I think this is working. Let's do some of these comments shorter, just to mix it up. Let's, run, let's add some emojis. And uh, here we go. <clears throat> All right, we have our comment screen. Let's have a look from, uh, from a high level if everything is, is looking good. Maybe like this, these menus could be a little bit up. And uh, probably also the text of these menus could be a little bit uh, bigger. One, two, let's bring it up. And here we go. All right, <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is we're going to end up with uh, a, another screen, which uh, is going to be a uh, payment screen. So actually I'm going to duplicate this other one here. I'm going to write in membership. And I'm going to delete uh, all of the text, except for this one, or actually, I delete also that one there, but no worries. We can always go here, duplicate this, bring it here to the center. And we're going to write, choose your plan. 
All right, all right, all right. Perfect. So I'm also going to add a smaller text, which is going to be descriptive. I'm going to use Lipsum in order to create a very long uh, line of text. I'm going to change the width here so it becomes a manageable chunk, if that makes sense. Let's bring it over here. Let's change it up. And now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add uh, um, another one of these guys. Let's bring it over here. Let's make it gray. We're going to make it white. Or actually, we're going to remove the image first of all. Let's make it white. Let's add a stroke. Just going to be a stroke with a blue outline. 1.5. I'm going to write in here monthly. And below that, uh, I'm going to add the amount. It's going to be 999. Let's write here build every month. And let's center it. Center all of this as well. Let's write in a check. Mm, so we're looking for a check which is a little bit bigger. Let's try glyph. Uh, maybe this one is going to work. All right, let's make this one blue. And I'm going to duplicate this uh, on the right. It's going to be the non selected option. So let's add this color for the outline and this color. For this other option, let's write in yearly. Yep. I'm going to add a price of 97.99 build yearly. And I'm going to write in a select plan over here. Write some <clears throat> some other asterisks here, or maybe a bullet point, with some with some elements. Let's make this a bullet point. Let's increase the height. we're pretty much uh, set and good to go. All right, so we are pretty much done. Um, at this point, what uh, I would usually do is to go one by one, uh, organize the layers, find if there are any reusable components which we can use inside of uh, this project and uh, basically sync it all up with the design system. It's something that is usually very beneficial to do at the uh, when uh, the project is at its uh, initial stages. 
so you haven't really gone too far in uh, the the actual project itself so definitely one of the th one thing to keep in mind and uh, yeah overall i would say that uh, this uh, is uh, working well so far happy with uh, the result and i really hope that this video was uh, useful to at least uh, one person out there um, if uh, you liked it please uh, leave uh, a like uh, and uh, even more than that i want to remind you that on my channel i have uh, over 500 videos on ui ux design sharing my over decade of experience in this field and uh, really um, trying to you know push, push us some content which uh, can be useful your feedback of course is super valuable for me so if you can leave a comment uh, letting me know if this was useful what are the new things that uh, you want uh, to learn about in ui ux design and uh, essentially how can i help you and serve you that would be great uh, since uh, this uh, is uh, really important data and uh, essential information for me so really hope this uh, video was helpful and uh, i'll see you in the very next ones